Hello, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk and from Unboxings.com and I have another white box product and this time it's the HTC Wildfire. We're going to have a quick look at this and uh, see what we've got inside the box. Obviously this is not full retail packaging but it is the full and final hardware so we're going to look at that in just a moment. So the handset's immediately on top. Inside we have the charger, well this is half of the charger if you like, so it's a USB style charger. The other half here is a 3 pin UK plug and the two just connect together like so to actually provide the full charger itself. So that's in two parts, so we understand why they do that. Then we have USB cable, which is a standard USB on one end and uh, to a micro USB on the other. That obviously plugs into there to give you uh, charge, and obviously plugs into the computer to give you synchronization and also charge. Uh, the only thing that uh, sort of drawback I find with these style of connectors and the USB style charger is that you only get one so you can't leave this sort of in one place and use the sync and charge in another place. Um, that's only a minor point, and the fact that it's micro USB sort of slightly nullifies that, though. And then we have a headset, a wired headset. So it has foam covers and uh, clips clip it onto clothing. And then we have the actual headphones themselves, or headset. So it's a four pole, three and a half mil jack, standard thing. So we can use our own headphones if we want to. Inline microphone with a push button. And then the headphones themselves, they're quite small, um, not proper in-ear noise cancelling type of uh, sort of uh, affair. Um, but they're okay, they're quite plasticky and lightweight. I suspect that if you're going to want to listen to music, or certainly a great deal of music, then you are almost certainly going to want to use your own headphones. Obviously we do have that option though, so because they are sort of a standard 3.5mm jack. Now, so let's just remove the plastic from there. Handset itself, well, uh, it looks kind of uh, similar to the HTC Desire, which I'm just going to put out of its box here too. And many people are referring to it as the Desire's baby brother, and I think it's obvious to see why that distinction or that uh, comparison is being made. Um, it is the smaller version, if you like, of the HTC Desire. It has a similar operating system and uh, it's perhaps a little thicker than the Desire, but obviously that bit smaller. So uh, let's move the Desire to one side and uh, we'll take a look. So on the front we have first of all a quarter VGA display um, versus uh, Desire's has the WVGA display, but quarter VGA 240 by 320 pixels and it's a 3.2 inch display. There is a loud, large, fairly large loudspeaker on the top, fully capacitive touchscreen. Underneath we have the home key, the menu key, uh, back and search, they're touch sensitive rather than physical. Then there is an optical trackpad underneath, no trackball, uh, which is again, personally I think it's a good thing, trackballs tend to clog up with dust and uh, dirt, whereas obviously optical has a little bit more uh, life to it. There's also a push button, so it works for the menus and, and the like. On the left hand side we have an up and down volume control rocker, pretty standard and standard place to put it. And then we have the micro USB sync and charge connector on the side rather than the bottom. Personally I prefer them on the bottom because you do have the option then of using sort of car cradles or desktop cradles. Um, it just makes it a bit more of a pain to actually have it on the side, but yeah, it's kind of just one of those things. Nothing really to see on the bottom. There is a tiny hole there which is the microphone and on the right hand side there's absolutely nothing at all. On the top we have the power button and then we have the 3.5mm headphone socket so we can use uh, the wired headset that's provided. We can use standard 3.5mm headphones of our own so that's pretty cool. Uh, on the back we have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera and it does have an LED flash which is pretty good. Uh, camera is, is decent on the Desire so I expect it will probably be decent on the uh, wildfire here as well. The only criticism that we've made before, certainly on Desire to, as well, is that the camera does sort of stand a little proud at the back um, and it does leave the lens a little bit prone for scratching. Um, but that's just kind of one of those things I understand again. The reason it's been done is um, to actually just make the handset look a little bit slimmer. Back cover pops off by putting your fingernail in the slot at the top 
and pops off the whole of the back cover, even this little sort of lippy bit at the bottom, the whole thing pops off and to uh, reveal the battery which is obviously in the back here just pop that out as you can see the sim card goes underneath the battery the battery itself is 1300 milliamps so that's uh, a decent capacity really for uh, what is a fairly small handset micro sd card socket here which supports up to 32 gig micro sd hc memory cards and then we just pop the back cover back on like so back cover is pretty secure it does look like it's metal but it is in actual fact plastic but it is fairly nicely designed the handset it feels reasonably heavy actually i think it's because it's quite small and, and kind of uh, sort of dense if you like um, so it does feel a tad heavy but it really isn't it's only 118 grams which isn't really heavy at all but as i say i think it's just because of its size it just feels that bit, that bit heavier versus its size uh, it's 106 millimeters from top to bottom um, 60 millimeters wide and just under 13 millimeters thick 12.9 in actual fact uh, so let's just power up and while we wait for that to come on let me just talk about the rest of the specification as I say it is Android 2.1 Eclair has the HTC Sense user interface overlaid over the top of that as well 528 megahertz processor which isn't the fastest but the smaller display and the fact that it is kind of uh, slightly more entry level than the desire it's probably enough uh, 384 meg of ram 512 meg of rom as i say 3.2 inch display is quarter vga quad band for gsm so voice will work pretty much wherever you take it throughout the world as will the hsdpa and 3g because that is dual band um, although some areas in the USA you might not find a 3G or HSDPA coverage. Bluetooth 2.1 with EDR support and it does obviously have Wi-Fi which supports 802.11b and G standards. 5 megapixel also focus camera we've already mentioned. USB interface is USB 2.0 compliant. does also have a G sensor, a digital compass and a proximity sensor which are place at the top along with an ambient light sensor and has an internal GPS chipset. So immediately it's going to come on, it's telling me that I don't have a SIM card installed, that's no big deal. Uh, I'll swipe down to actually unlock uh, and it's just going to finish setting up. First boot is going to take a lot longer than subsequent boots because it's actually going to ask me to set up, so I'm in the United Kingdom. Um, I can skip the rest of it, it's going to tell me where to install the um, actual SIM card. Uh, skip the other stuff here and skip through the Wi-Fi setup and it's going to go on to Wi-Fi setup so I'm going to connect to a Wi-Fi network and a Wi-Fi network I'm going to connect to the one that I've got here I'll just quickly put in the web key it's just obtaining an address there and that's set up so we can now connect it, we'll go to the next step it's going to ask me to use Google location, that's fine, I don't mind we'll allow that and it's going to go on about account setup which I'm going to skip for now We'll have an email account shortly. And Facebook, Flickr and Twitter, which is um, really referring to Friendstream. We're going to skip those three just at the moment as well. And we're going to let it default the uh, date and time in at the moment as well. So it's just going to go and load up my desktop or home screen. And if you've seen the HTC Desire before or the HTC Legend, then you're going to recognize this layout, although it will be a little bit smaller and uh, so we've got we can push the button at the bottom that brings up uh, all of our apps uh, we go into the phone brings up the phone dialer and the capacitive touch screen as you would expect is extremely sensitive so you know it does, doesn't take much if any pressure to actually operate it's just the slightest touch so that's your phone dialer we can make calls uh, we skip back out of there and uh, we can actually click on the plus down the side there which allows us to add widgets or shortcuts um, um, to the actual desktop um, then we have pages for so on the home screen on the middle or main screen you obviously have the time and the fact that it's telling me that uh, where it thinks I am um, it's partly cloudy and it's 13 degrees we have messages mail internet and camera shortcuts on the desktop and if I swipe to the right I have uh, favorites this is basically speed dials which I can add uh, news feed there which I don't have uh, obviously anything set up at the moment and then we have a blank tab on the far right if we go the other way it would actually list my uh, incoming mail here or a summary of my incoming mail obviously no account set up yet uh, messages there and weather which is just a sort of fuller version of what we saw 
on the home screen it's also telling me that it think that thinks that uh, it's cloudy with showers so that's uh, the sort of the seven pages we can pinch there which is kind of uh, leap is known as or some people refer to it as the helicopter view so our middle one there is kind of the main home screen with all the other screens around the outside so will this show us um, if there's any sort of uh, widgets or anything running on those and it means you don't have to swipe left and right frantically to get to the one that you want so you can actually just go straight back to the home screen and also from the sort of middle home screen if you push the home button again it will actually show you the leap view if you push it back it goes back um, so if you're over on the right hand side and you push the home button it will go to the centre and if you push it again you get to the leap view but kind of get the idea um, so it's pretty cool um, we're going to have a quick look at some of the things that were installed so we've got app sharing, calculator, calendar, call history, camcorder and camera, FM radio, which is pretty good, gallery, Google Mail, internet, uh, mail, maps and market, Android market, measure, peep, which is installed. I like peep, that's pretty cool. Um, that's a good little Twitter application. Uh, setup, stock, settings, uh, weather, Tita, which is nice, that little ball bearing game, videos. Videos now have their own uh, icon or app in there, which is cool. And then YouTube, so sort of fairly standard stuff if you like. Let me come back out of here, and I'll just go into the settings menu. Uh, obviously, we can change the wallpaper while we're here. In actual fact, and uh, we can apply the wallpaper to the home screen. And we've got HTC wallpapers or Android wallpapers. You know that there, you notice there aren't any live wallpapers or animated wallpapers available probably partly down to the fact that it's a smaller screen and also down to the slightly slower CPU speed the fact that they're not there uh, but we'll go back to the menu and we're going to settings uh, we can personalize you notice there's this overlay even on the settings menu which is part of the sense user interface which is uh, pretty cool just makes it a little bit neater and a little bit easier to sort of follow through with coloured icons and just makes it a little bit more friendly. So we can personalise, we can have a look at wireless networks which obviously we've already set up. Accounts and synchronisation, search, location, security, applications and so on. We're going to just go about phone and have a look in here and look at software inf information. It tells us that it's uh, Android 2.1 update 1. Uh, all about the kernel information, build number, what the browser version is, which is WebKit 3.1, which is pretty cool. And then come back out of here. And finally back into menus, and then we've got scenes. Scenes, which is something that we've seen on other um, Sense UI interface handsets, such as the Desire and the Legend, which allows us to change sort of the theme, or in this case, as they call it, the scene of the home screen. So I currently set to HTC, but I could change it to work. Click Done. And it will basically change what I have on the home screen. So I've got two clocks. So I have a, a GMT and a local clock. Um, and then I have a little calendar uh, ribbon there, which shows just the upcoming one or two calendar appointments. So there is limited space there, obviously. Um, the shortcuts down the bottom have remained the same. But if I go onto the next screen, it tells me that Wi Fi is on, Bluetooth's off, what the weather is, and a small version of the favourites for speed dials news and then there's a blank tab over the other side and come back this way mail stocks and then a calendar a full screen calendar so it's pretty cool um, these are sort of features that we have seen on other HTC um, handsets recently um, but it's obviously filtered down to this the HTC wildfire as well we we'll go back into menu and I go to scenes and I'll quickly pick the play one without dwelling on it too much and you can see that it's a larger clock um, we have a media control here for actually playing music, bookmarks for the internet, the blank tab right over the other side. We have uh, album, which is uh, actually photo album. I obviously don't have anything on here. Friend stream, again, I haven't set up my Twitter or Facebook feeds or anything like that. And then weather right over on the left-hand side. So I think that's uh, enough for an unboxing and demo video. This is just obviously a quick view of the HTC Wildfire. I'll come back later with a, a fuller demo which uh, I'll look at things like the uh, web browser, uh, the actual Google Maps, uh, the camera and uh, I'll set up an email account and go into Android Market and that kind of stuff uh, and see also how FriendStream works and actually demo FriendStream. I'll do that in a later video but for now this has been the HTC Wildfire on tracyandmat.co.uk and I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmat.co.uk.